tonight. Well, the last Lucas Oil race we saw was at Port Royal, and that 49 car went to victory lane. Again, it's not for championship points. It is for cumulative points for Saturday's lineup. But it will count in the all-time win list as Jonathan Davenport trying to equal Jimmy Owens with 82 career wins. Chad Simpson has won as the Nutrient Act Solutions start zone. Dustin Jarrett off at turn four. The 25 lapper underway at Knoxville Raceway. They fire in that Nutrient Act Solutions starting zone. Chad Simpson and Jonathan Davenport lead them into turns one and two. And you see Simpson bobble just a little bit. Davenport out front at 49. Uh, you know the drill, James, when he gets out front on these big tracks in clean air, he can be very hard to beat. As you see, Hudson O'Neill down to the inside of Dylan McCowan. Those two drivers make contact, move Hud up to third. McCowan about the back. They go side to side into turn number two. As an issue for O'Neill, gets out of shape, gets back around McCowan. Down the back straightaway, Davenport opening up a lead here. On lap number two, Chad Simpson, the current Lucas Oil and Mallory points center, way high in turn four. And here comes O'Neill down the straightaway. Well, Chad Simpson got out of shape, and now O'Neill for second in turn number two, Dustin. Side by side right now for position number two. Jonathan Davenport by a mile out front early in this one, but a good battle behind him. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all right there together. Chad Simpson hanging on to position number two. Hudson O'Neill, here comes Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce, first time here in that Longhorn. Again, he was not here a year ago. He'll battle on the inside of Dylan McCowan down the back straightaway in eight. McCowan, the only driver to run every summer nationals race here in 2024 with Jonathan Davenport trying to equal Jimmy Owens with 82 career wins leads at a turn one with four complete. Yeah, four laps into this one. He's got a two and a half second advantage. Shades of Wheatland dancing in my head right now where the 49 was oh so good. On back through the field, worth noting the 30 of Ryan Gustin just slipped up out of the groove down in turns one and two. That allows a few drivers to get by. You're looking back at the battle right now for the fourth position. Dylan McCallan has it. Bobby Pierce still trying to take it away. Got to be impressed with Dylan McCallan. He was they had planned to run the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series for Rookie of the Year. They did not commit to that, so they would still be eligible in future years. The battle for second off at turn four. O'Neill, Chad Simpson still has it. The Johnson Oldie Companies, 25 at a turn one. JD, 2.7, the advantage over Simpson. Jonathan Davenport picking them up and putting them away in this one. Second, third, fourth, fifth, all right there together. It seems like a very common theme that we say. Take the 49 out of the mix, and you've got yourselves a whale of a race from second on back. Simpson turning back to challenges. How about Dylan McCowan? A good run in the eight. He's going for second. The Urbana, Missouri driver in a turn. Coming off a of turn number three, and there here comes O'Neill. They bunch in, O'Neill throwing it in on McCowan. He's going for second. Man, they are going at it here. Chad Simpson, Hudson O'Neill, Dylan McCallan, Bobby Pierce, great race for second in a turn one eight scored. That is a phenomenal battle for the second spot, and it happens four seconds behind Jonathan Davenport. Pierce to the inside of McCowan. O'Neill to the inside of Simpson. Oh, baby, and Pierce may not be done yet. Two for the price of one. Simpson gets shuffled back to fifth. Right there in oh, turn man. one. It's 4.2 seconds, but now Davenport will pick up the tail end of the field. You know the issues he's had with traffic the last few years out in front. Off at turn four. The advantage again last time was 4.219. This time at the loop line, it's 3.6. So O'Neill cut six tenths of a second off down the back straight away. It's the tail end of the field for JD. There's the battle for second. O'Neill and Pierce. Hudson O'Neill in position number two. Bobby Pierce currently in third again. Non-points night tonight, James. This has no bearing on the Big River Steel Chase for the championship presented by ARP. Jonathan Davenport, Hudson O'Neill, and Bobby Pierce trying to close in as Davenport reached the back of the field. That lead was up to four seconds at one point. It's been trimmed to 3.2 the last time by this time by, let's see. Jonathan Davenport, 2.6. They have taken nearly a second and a half off Davenport's advantage James in the last three laps. Well, the last race you and I did at Eldora, we had a record eight lead change during the World 100, and we got a car slowing off at turn number four, off the pace, right in front of your leader down the main straightaway is Daniel Ilzebeck, as we stay green, and that'll cost Davenport. 
And now here comes O'Neill and here comes Pierce. They got to get around Hilsebeck. Daniel Hilsebeck off the pace down the back straightaway, Dustin. He's going to try to nurse the 22 to the inside of the racetrack and out of harm's way. He's been able to make it to the inside of the speedway. We'll see if we stay under green flag race here. If we have our first Dave Warren Power Sports caution, Davenport stays out front now. The lead just 1.7 seconds over the battle for second on your screen between Hudson O'Neill and Bobby Pierce. 14 scored, 11 to go. Cowan fourth, Moran fifth, and it's McCree. Gustin, Chad Simpson has fallen back to eighth. Carson Ferguson, Max Blair runs in a left. Oh, and we got an accident at turn oh. four. And somebody got in the back of the 99 and boom breaks Matt Furman. And the first Dave Warren Power Sports caution on the racetrack, Dustin Jarrett. Well, uh, we will have to see. I believe we're going to get back to 14. I think we only had one driver across the line. So 14 in the books, 11 remaining. And Davenport's lead had already gone. It was four seconds. It was 4.0 seconds at one point. And it had dwindled to 1.7 that last time by as this Dave Warren Power Sports caution flag flies for the contact between Matt Furman and Boom Briggs. And I believe we have a look at the Flow Racing Instant Replay coming up here momentarily to see what happened to the driver of the 99B. There's Boom. Boom and I turned four Boom and Furman. Yeah, Furman maybe just got a run on him there. You saw he tagged Boom in the rear end, and that's what brought out this Dave Warren Power Sports caution. Ben? Well, Boom's going to call it tonight. He's got left door damage, and Matt Furman has right front damage on the flopper on the right front of that 51. So those two guys look like they're going to be out of the race. Meanwhile, Daniel Hilsebeck back down in the pits. His night's going to be over. It's like a left rear flat on the 22 card. Man, it's been a tough night for that team. As Shane Wynan is in the crew survey, Boom Briggs, number 99B. Well, the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit not been active down there with any tire changes or anything. So 14 in the books, Dustin. We still have 11 to go. So I would assume we would still do obviously Delaware double fall restart, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is still five be. or less laps. Yeah, to five go. or less laps. Any any race that is uh, 40 or less is five or is five laps to go, Ben. Yep, that's what Rick Rick Schwally told him at the drivers meeting tonight. Oh. You see him maybe some debris. It's a banner. a banner. Yeah, we lost an entire banner. Oh, oh no. Uh, ben Dylan McCowan, very impressive in the eight car. No, he is, and you know, and he branched out to a lot of new places this year. Went to all the summer nationals events, and uh, he has he's been, he's been very very good, a very talented driver. Another one of those another one of those drivers we've seen come out of the modified ranks and had success in the late models immediately. Right now, an early contender for the Todd Steel Buildings Hard Charger, Garrett Alberson, uh, up nine spots from 22nd to 13th. So the field getting lined back up in the Delaware double file restart. And Jonathan Davenport will be by himself out front. Second place, Hudson O'Neill with his choice of inside or outside lane. And you see that Hudson O'Neill on the left side of your screen has chosen the inside lane on this restart. That'll put third place Bobby Pierce outside. And at one point, you thought Davenport was going to run off and hide in this one. Not so fast, my friend, as we'll see what happens in the final 11 laps of this one. As he's now got Hudson O'Neill and a guy that's looking for a clean sweep tonight, Bobby Pierce right behind. Of course, James Bobby Pierce was the all-star performance quick qualifier. Uh, he overcame a six-car invert to win his heat race. And he, uh, with the fast time inverts, he started eighth in this feature, and he's going to be on move over inverts, as you that's say, right? That's right, move over inverts. <laughs> Looking for his 33rd feature win of the year, Ben. Meanwhile, guys, Jimmy Owens just pulled in out of the party here tonight. Nobody's stopping in the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. It's like it's been blocked and unfriended down here. Nobody wants any part of it as we're coming back to the green flag out of turn four. We still have on the racetrack 20 starters still left. It's that? Davenport O'Neill, Pierce McCowan, Moran McCready, Gustin, Chad Simpson, Carson Ferguson, Max Blair, 10th, the Nutrient Act Solutions Restart Zone. 11 to go on a Thursday night in Iowa. Boy, you saw the tail end of the 71 kind of whip around there. You thought maybe HUD didn't get as good of a restart as he wanted, but instead he does. He slides up the racetrack in front of Pierce to lay stake on that second spot. Pierce, though, going to try to get a run down the back straightaway. You see just how good that 49 is on these restarts. James is here, comes Pierce down to the inside. He'll take second away from HUD oh, with man. 10 to go. What a year, what a move. 32, Bobby Pierce. It's eight tenths of a second. We still have 10 laps to go. 
The last time we saw Bobby Pierce, you and I here on Flow, he won the World 100, and right now he eyes Jonathan Davenport down the main straightaway, nine to go. Nine laps to go in this one. Davenport, Pierce, Hutt, your top three cars right now. Bobby Pierce not letting the 49 out of his crosshairs. Pierce going for his 33rd win of the year, and it would be his 22nd career win with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Jonathan Davenport, though, James, coming into this event, 81 career wins with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series, looking to make it 82 here tonight. He looks good down the back straight. He won at Port Royal, the last Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series race. He tries to open it up over Pierce last time. It was nine tenths of a second. Off at turn four, 18 in the books. Seven to go for Jonathan Davenport. Davenport, as you mentioned earlier, James, if he is able to get his 82nd win here tonight, it would tie him for second all time with Jimmy Owens in career wins with the Lucas Oil Series. One second the advantage the last time by for the 49 over the 32 this time by six laps to go. And dare I say the Death Ridge Opticians eyeball test says yes. Pierce cuts three tenths off Davenport's lead. New, new contacts on the way, but the old ones are looking good down the back straight away. O'Neill third, fourth Moran. Devin has climbed up the fifth. McCowan has fallen back to six. McCready up to fifth. Remember, every position vital here as they get points. Down the main straightaway, five to go for the 40-year-old out of Blairsville, Georgia. It's one second exactly. Five laps to get it done for Bobby Pierce. Can he catch the 49? And again, your best prelim night. It's not cumulative points from both. Your best overall prelim night, either Thursday or Friday, is what they use to set the first 24 starters here on Saturday night. Bobby Pierce still one full second back of your race leader. There's a good look at the reigning World 100 champion. They're going to catch the back of the field with this one, and this one, James, with about four laps to go or so. Down the main straightaway into turn number one. It is still Jonathan Davenport with the lead. Bobby Pierce, I know, closing down the back straightaway. Hudson O'Neill still third. Devin Moran fourth. McCready fifth. And here comes Bobby Pierce. Here comes Pierce Dustin down the straightaway to turn one as this one gets near the end. Two to go this time by, and they may catch the tail end of the field. We know the ticker is off uh, in terms of laps for those of you watching at home. They're coming around to the Barron's performance. One to go this time. Does the 32 have anything for the 49? Barron's performance, one to go for Jonathan Davenport. It's lightning off the back straightaway. We're going to get it in tonight. Off at turn number two, Davenport down the back straightaway. Pierce too far back to throw a slider and it looks like Jonathan Davenport's going to lead wire to wire Dustin for his 82nd career win in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series. Jonathan Davenport will win night one here in the 20th annual Lucas Oil Late Model Knoxville Nationals presented by Your Life Iowa. Second Bobby Pierce, third Hudson O'Neill, Devin Moran fourth and Tim McCready will round out the top five unofficially Dylan McCowan sixth, Tyler Earp seventh, Ryan Gustin eighth, Brian Shirley ninth and Carson Ferguson 10th. And that is very, very, very unofficial as they came across the line. Well, you put him on the front row, he's hard to beat, but it may not have been quite as easy as what the box score will make it look. He leads all 25 laps in this one. Hudson O'Neill third, Bobby Pierce second, and he's got to go into the UNOH tech and scale area to make it official. And if it holds up, he will tie Jimmy Owens for second all time in Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series career wins with his 82nd victory with the series. He's the driver of the Double L Motorsports, Nutrient Act Solutions, Dyna Gross Seed, ASC Warranty, Mark Martin Automotive, Lucas Oil, Clements Power, uh, Cornette Power Plant under the hood of the Longhorn here tonight for Superman Jonathan Davenport. He's going to make his way again into the UNOH tech and scale area. You see it there right behind Victory Lane. Unofficially, your Todd Steele Buildings hard charger, Brian Shirley, 21st and 9th. Your Death Ridge Opticians, Lucky 13th unofficially, is Chris Simpson. And your Willwood Brakes, Lucky 7th place finisher, Tyler Herb. The Coleman Farmers fastest lap of the race, 18-139 by Jonathan Davenport. And your MD3 most laps led, Davenport, all 25 here tonight. Mm. Well, we saw it a year ago. Remember Thornton? Remember how well Thornton did on the prelim nights last year? And again, this event, uh, there has never been a driver lead every single lap on Saturday. The only dirt late model crown jewel in the country that can lay claim to that stake, Ben.
And you, and you know when you roll into these crown jewels, JD's going to be tough. And then the way the inverts worked, it played into his hand. And I think he's going to be honest. Maybe he didn't have the best card tonight, but it all worked out. And he's going to get his 82nd career Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win. As long as he clears the UNOH skills, it will be his eighth Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win of the year. His 13th win overall and his fifth all-time here at Knoxville Raceway. And, of course, he picked up the win in this event back in 2022. And he's off to a good start this weekend. Tomorrow night, he'll look for an even bigger points night as, again, it's your best night. Determines the 24 cars locked into Saturday after tomorrow night's show, and everybody else will be in a B main. And, guys, we raced the weather tonight, and it ended up being a beautiful night here at Knoxville. Absolutely, it did. A gorgeous night here this evening. We'll be back at it tomorrow night as well. Dirt Crown Stock Cars, their 24-car invitational, joins us here tomorrow also as Davenport looks to make it official in that UNOH Tech and Scale area, and then he will he will make his way into the Knoxville Raceway Casey's Victory Lane, a winner of the opening night of this 20th running of the Lucas Oil Late Model Knoxville Nationals. I'd say it was a good night for Pierce too, right? He started <laughs> yeah. eighth, then he's second, and he gets points for qualifying and also for this main event. So. Yeah. And again, it's the best of the two nights, as we mentioned. That's the only time the format we do that this year. Well, guys, it's official. Your winner here tonight is Jonathan Davenport in car 49. He'll be atop the Big River Steel podium, a VLAN feature winner for the eighth time in 2024 with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Entered tonight second in the Big River Steel Chase for the championship, presented by AARP. And, of course, after Saturday night, the championship four are set. He is guaranteed a spot in that as he goes after a fourth series title. And he puts on the Hoosier neckband and will wait on the driver of the Lance and Darla Landers, number 49, the double L motorsports entry to climb out. A five-time winner now here at Knoxville Raceway. Sunoco checkered flag down there. He'll put the steering wheel on top. I think we all know what's coming next. Race fans, your winner, Jonathan Davenport. Car 49, the Nutri Nutrient Act Solutions, Dyna Groove Seed, ASC Warranty, Longhorn. And he hops down off the race car. We're going to talk to him atop uh, this Big River Steel Victory Lane podium. There's another big check for the wall, JD. Well, the box score is going to show you led all 25 tonight, but I feel like I know you well enough to know you're going to tell me you guys got some work to do the rest of the weekend. How did the car feel in that main event? Uh, it actually felt pretty good. Um, like, I thought I was starting seventh. Like, I, I go over there right after the heat races, and they don't have the lineups because they can't probably figure them out. Then when they do have them, they're wrong. So we do stuff to our car, pick tires and things like I'm going to start seventh. But... So I wasn't really happy about that when we rolled out there, but I was happy with starting up front. So uh, my guys give me a great piece. We we tried a few different things there, and it, it seemed to really work. Um, Pierce, obviously, has got the best car, I think. Uh, he kind of waxed his qualifying and drove up through there in the heat. And then um, this place is just so narrow now, it's hard to pass. So I knew unless I really messed up, it's going to be hard for him to pass me. But um, like I said, just thank my guys, Nutrient Ag Solutions, AC Warranty. Down and grow seed, Longhorn, Bill Stein, uh, just help everybody that gets us here. You guys have been lurking at the front of the pack a lot over the past few months, a lot of big money on the line. You won this back, race back in 2022. How important is it to get a good points night under your belt? I know you want to be even better tomorrow night, but how important is it to have a good points night to know that you got a chance to start up toward the front of the pack on Saturday? You definitely want to start up towards the front of the pack here. And, um, it, it's uh, definitely important, like you said, to uh, get the get the weekend started off right here. So that puts us up somewhere near the front. Um, I doubt that's good enough for a front row, but uh, it's still decent. Um, and then, you know, like moving on to tomorrow night, we don't know what the weather is going to bring Saturday. Uh, it keeps changing on us, so we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, like I said, just, just thankful for everybody. Um, everybody knows this this ain't my favorite place to be in here. But uh, it's kind of like you go to your in-laws with your wife or whatever, and you don't really want to be there, but you have to be. So uh, I just have to be here. <laughs> uh, he's got to be on top of the Big River Steel podium here tonight. Your winner, Jonathan Davenport. Guys, second on the Big River Steel podium has made his way around. He's gonna, we're gonna hop up here. Let's see, have we got it right? It's gonna be close enough, Bobby. Bobby, man, I tell you what, you almost pulled off the perfect night. You caught JD late. What did you need? Was it a caution? Did you need something different him to make a mistake? What was it gonna take for the 32 to be where Jonathan's at right now? Uh, track position. You know, hate to be the guy, but inverts suck. But um, 
It's, it created some good racing. We got up through there, and um, he was really good um, in the clean air. And every time I got close enough to him, I'd front end would take off or I'd get loose. And um, maybe tomorrow it'll be a little, little less hammered down. So. I tell you what, though, you were able to pick off some spots. And the way the points work tonight, you're going to be the high points guy when this is all said and done for tonight. Tomorrow, another big day. What would it mean to get your first Knoxville title? Oh, it would mean everything. That's why we're here this weekend. Um, you know, we could have took off, but we're trying to get that win. And, uh, yeah, a lot of money on the line. Hopefully we make it to Saturday so we can race for 50 and uh, see what that weather's doing. But, um, yeah, man, just uh, always love coming to Knoxville, racing here. It's a very unique racetrack. Uh, it's really not a – a lot of places like it, if anything. So uh, it's pretty crazy how things can happen so quickly on a big track and uh, keeps you up on your toes. It's a lot of fun. And thanks, Lucas, Knoxville, everybody putting this race on. And congrats to JD on the win. He's uh, he's really good tonight. Hit that invert, didn't you? He's not looking. <laughs> he's asking you about the invert. He said you hit the invert, didn't you? <laughs> well, Bobby Pierce comes home in second here tonight. And we are looking around. I think we had Huddy in third. I tell you what, guys, don't have him down in here right now. We'll throw it back up top to you, though, with Jonathan Davenport on top of the Big River Steel podium. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Ben, and congratulations to those drivers. And, Ben, if you do, uh, if you are able to round up, uh, round up Hudson O'Neill down there, just jump in as needed. Again, very, very unofficial here on the rundown. Davenport, Pierce, O'Neill, the top three. We know that. Moran, fourth. Tim McCready, fifth. Dylan McCowan, sixth. Tyler Erb, seventh. Ryan Gustin eighth unofficial I believe behind that with Brian Shirley ninth and then Carson Ferguson rounding out the top 10 and we get to do it all again tomorrow night as we mentioned we'll swap out the dirt trucks with the dirt crown stock cars the IMCA stock cars and you know that's one of my one of my favorite divisions a 24 car invite and we'll toss it back down trackside to Ben Shelton who's caught up with your third place finisher Hudson O'Neill Hudson O'Neill do you feel like that was one of the toughest fall third place finishes you've ever had I feel like you were in a hornet's nest for 25 laps. Yeah, I don't know. It, uh, I was trying to get, it took me a while to get to second there, and it just worked out where I could uh, really make some ground getting in a three on that bottom. And uh, yeah, and then I knew uh, whenever we had that restart that Bobby was going to be tough and uh, got clear of him down here, just kind of messed up and just slid a little too hard down there and let him get back underneath of me. But uh, all in all, I thought we had a good piece, uh, something to work on. Everybody had a little different tires on than we did, I think, except for Jonathan. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun week. I love this place. I love coming back here and uh, appreciate all my guys and big uh, Big River Steel, uh, Chris Davis, Midwest Sheet Metal, um, <laughs> Bob and Tammy Burton, uh, Professional Concrete Cutting and Drilling, Wheeler Metals, O'Neill Savage and Recycling, uh, SSI Motorsports, Todd Burns, every, all my guys, um, Bill Steen, Longhorn, everybody that's a part of this deal, uh, Dino One. Uh, no, I'm forgetting a bunch, but uh, Bobcat of Batesville and everybody. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, look forward to tomorrow and uh, see what we got for him. Did you catch a dirt clot or something? You got a little blood off the side of the face. What happened there? Yeah, I thought it, I, well, I don't know. I thought it broke my nose, but uh, my nose is still intact. Uh, got a little blood going everywhere, but that's all right. Uh, just uh, unfortunate as part of racing, but I uh, just was in the wrong place at the wrong time running third to Hills back down here, or uh, Simpson, and I uh, just kicked a mud clot up and hit me in the face. And, uh, yeah, so... Thankfully, it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we don't have to go through any of that tomorrow. These guys are gladiators. Hudson O'Neill comes home in third. DJ James, let's go to the race recap. Hey, thanks a lot, Ben. Absolutely, thank you. We'll see exactly how we got to this point in this evening's 25-lap main event, and it started with a four-wide salute.